we have new abductions. Oh, and I see both of my people have returned to active duty. Excellent, just in time. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. New recruit, support. Okay, I really don't need a new recruit. I have plenty of people. Scientists. Okay. I don't need people, so I'm not going to go for this one. I could go for either money or scientists. Scientists would increase my research speed. Which is always a good thing. And at the, mo at the moment, I'm not lacking for money. So, let's go with this one. Okay. Who do I want to go with? I do want to keep a fairly large group. I don't want to have... I don't want to just use the exact same people over and over again. So, what are my other unit classes? Oh yeah, Dresden's a sniper. Excellent. So I'll put you back in. And John Smith is assault, which leaves me with, uh... Actually, the, well, once again, the perfect group of four classes. Which is good, you really want all the different classes in there. Okay, yeah, let's just keep rotating them out. No? I'm gonna give you the scope, because you are a sniper. Perfect. Support has a medkit, yes. Heavy has a medkit. Um. I could give you a vest. Nah, I like medkits. And I will give you a vest. Yeah, screw grenades. I don't like grenades at all. When you when you use explosives in this game, it actually destroys equipment and lowers the chance of getting fragments and stuff like that they use for research. So in general, you want explosions to kind of be... Well, you don't want to use them unless you have to, really. Okay, I think I'm good. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what foreboding name this operation has. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Of course, Operation Blinding Stranger. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Kolkata, India. Hmm. It's an interesting tip, I didn't know this. A unit performing a dash move has a defensive bonus against enemy reaction fire. I guess the thinking behind that is that you're moving so fast that you'd be avoiding their shots. Hmm. Interesting. But I wonder how much of a bonus it is. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Right. You are heavy. You are assault. You are sniper. And you are support. Sniper's always got to be in the back. Hey, maybe... <laughs> I should put the sniper in cover on this car because it is literally the exact same cover, uh, color as his armor. He'll blend right in and no one will see him. Solid copy. Look at that. Blends right in. Perfect. Let's see if I can see the meld canister. In the fog of war. Nope. Alright, let's just push inside of this place. I like how there's like a dozen TVs and all of them have static. Very strange. 
I guess the alien presence has maybe... Maybe has some interference. Okay, where could it be? It's obviously not directly inside of here. I probably should move over this way. Hmm. I did not mean to open the door, but okay. That's fine. Let's move up here. Yeah, there's probably going to be some enemies in this alleyway. The fact that snipers cannot shoot in the same turn that they move really hurts things. Because I could move him up, like right here in, in the corner. And just keep him protected. And then if there's aliens here, I could just, next turn, you know, when he has all of his points back, I could just move him, like, a couple squares over here and then take a shot. But he can't. He has to be in the line of fire, basically, to take a shot. Because if he can see them, they can see him, pretty much. So, hmm. It's bad. Alright, I'll at least move him up to here. Okay, there is one there. We're gonna assault the hell out of this alleyway here. Here we go. Take a look. Hmm. There's gotta be aliens here. Probably right about there, I'm guessing. Half cover? I don't like that. Still nothing. Alright, let's dash up to it. There we go. Oh, it's actually climbing. Never seen them do that before. Actually, that's bad because now it has a massive attack bonus against us. A 10% chance to hit. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. And of course, as always, the sniper's nowhere close enough to make a shot. I could maybe climb up here myself, which would be pretty cool. But that's many turns in the future. Can I climb up there? I probably can. Alright. Move on up. I want my sniper on the roof. Let's just hunger down. What the hell should I do with him? I kind of like him where he's at. Yeah, just just Overwatch. Pretty good chance I'm gonna get a hit here because I have such a huge height advantage. Oh, it's mind melding. Yep, there it is. Only did two damage though, it's fine. There we go. Right, 
So kill the one on the roof, and they both die. Oh, here we go. Next turn, my sniper can unleash some hell. Between the massive height advantage and the scope, I'm guessing it's going to be practically a 100% chance to hit. In fact, instead of wasting time trying to take pot shots at this alien, I really need to kill that, and I can't kill it reasonably with any unit that's on the ground. So I think I just need to hunker down and wait until next turn so my sniper can take it out. Unless I can run and gun. No, I can't run and gun up there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm actually going to get some use out of the smoke grenade. There we go. Nice and protected. I will move you into the smoke grenade. And into, I believe that's full cover. Yeah, full cover. So between the full cover and the smoke grenade, we're going to be fine. It's Overwatch. Alright, next turn I'm going to take that bastard out. <laughs> Do you think that would work? Well, wow, the shot from the ground actually looked like it got closer. Okay, oh wow, he's not even in cover anymore. But it doesn't even matter. 83% chance. Now, it could do a headshot. Which has an increased chance of a critical hit. But there's no point, because there's no way this shot would do less than 3 damage. What is this little thing here? Whoa. Whoa. I've never clicked that button. I didn't even know it existed. What, what is this? Uh, oh, it tells you everything that's adding into it. Whoa, that's cool. So, normal aim is 75, plus 10 for that, plus 20 for height. Low cover is minus 20. Hmm. Elevated ground, penalties, elevated ground. Okay. Let's go for it. Excellent. I knew that was the right move, except it actually stopped mind melding with it, I just realized. So, now my sniper is extremely vulnerable to this alien, and that alien didn't die. Shit. Well, okay then. Could run and gun, but is there really a need to? Not really. How long does a smoke grenade last for? I'm not sure how long it lasts. 33%. That's not good. I'm going to move up. We need to protect our sniper at this point. That, that is a horrible shot. That was a horrible shot, Graves. Come on, you can do better than that. I know moving them out of the smoke grenade, but again, I th I'm pretty sure it's going to shoot at the sniper anyway because it's in no cover. And we're both in full cover, so it's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot! The bonus! Anyone that person shoots at, everyone else has an increased... A chance of hitting it. I totally forgot about that. Gotta keep that in mind. So when I'm trying to attack an enemy, he should be the first one to fire. Okay. The other canister is probably in these buildings. Let's just move on up. Okay in there. Now, to be honest, 
I don't think they're going to come out onto the street. But just in case, I'll move the sniper last. Location confirmed. Positive enemy contacts. There you go. They are going to come out onto the street. I just moved my soldier into a very bad position, didn't I? Well, okay, it's not flanked, so it's fine. Let's move you right here. On the move. Ah, I scared away the birds. Wait a minute, hold on. Shot is blocked. Oh, if I could use this RPG, this rocket, that would be so badass. But nope, my shot is blocked, and you can't use it after moving. All right, let's... Just move you. Mm. Alright, let's move... Yeah, let's dash you here. And you, I will move up here without dashing and put you on Overwatch. So if they decide to come out into this alleyway... They're gonna get some bullets in the head. Maybe. Come on, move, move! Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Come into the alleyway. No, they're not. They're not falling for the bait. Now, I need to remember, this alien has Overwatch. It has Overwatch. Don't forget, Marshall. It has fucking Overwatch. Don't move into the road. Don't move. It has Overwatch. Wait a minute. C can I? Oh. I could do it. I could do it. I could blow it all up. But and that's probably over the top. Let me see what I can do here. That's only a 62% chance to hit. It is in full cover, but I have a massive advantage here. Oh, minus 40 because of high cover. Well, let's just take it, see what happens. Excellent! Nice shot, Dresden. Right, it has Overwatch. Don't forget, it has Over... Oh, God, ah! I forgot to attack with my support first. This will give everybody a plus 10 bonus. Could of course run and gun, but it's an Overwatch, so why risk it? Got him. <laughs> Today, another successful operation. I shot the enemy into the wall and it just started convulsing. All right, all meld recovered. That went pretty damn well. That went, that went exceptional, actually. Although I think I have some injuries. Yeah, okay, maybe not exceptional, but it went pretty damn well. Uh, it seems Graves is gravely injured. And Dresden, too. The International Service Cross is now unlocked. Ooh. And a bunch of stuff. New facility available, laboratory. Each laboratory increases research speed by 20%. Okay. Commander. So I keep gathering this meld, but at the moment, I don't even know what to do with it. At the moment, I can't even use it on anything. I guess I need to research it or something. Alright, let's see what this thing is. Plus two will per different nationality in the squad. Plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. Per continent bonus... Hmm. 
I'm not even sure what plus will does. I think it might... I think one of the things it might do is in decrease your chance of panicking. Beyond that, though, I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna go with this plus aim. Because I'm not sure what will does, but I know what aim does, and that's awesome. What should I name it? International Service Cross is far too bland. Um, the uh, Eagle Eye Cross? Because it increases your aiming chance? No, that sounds too good. Yeah, let's let's call it the the shoot betterer cross. That sounds better. That's that sounds more stupid, which is more appropriate for my quality of leadership that I've I've been representing here. And of course, let's award it. Well, it increases aiming, so obviously that needs to go to a sniper, right? Or does it? Or does it? Everyone can use better aim. I'm trying to think. Is it better for a sniper or better for assault? Because assaults really need to kill an enemy when they get up close, so they need a high percent chance to hit. Because if they don't kill the enemy, then they're screwed next turn because they're so close to the enemy that they're just going to get mauled. Eh, let's give it to a sniper. But which one? Dresden? Or Izeli? I don't know, they both serve me well. Let's give it to Izeli. This is for your excellent sniper skills. Your sniper... Your snipe snipering. Excellent snipering. Good job. Here's your shoot better across. Alright. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. No problem. Two days left on that research. Five engineers, so I still can't build what I want to build. Uh, I could I could build a laboratory. I could. Should I? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. You know what, I forgot what this steam does. I think it might be related to power somehow, like does it give a bonus to power generation? Maybe I should have built the power generation over here and the satellite uplink on this side. But it's kind of too late for that. So, whatever. 125... monies. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell, let's do it. I'll have more money before I can even build a, a satellite uplink facility. I think we're ready. Let's find some more action. telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. 
We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. <laughs> the fool. How can we possibly hope to defeat something if we don't understand it? Come on, you don't need to understand something if you put enough holes in it. Just, just shoot it to hell. Who needs to understand something when you can just blow it up? That's what guns are for. Okay. New objective, capture live alien. Oh yes, I get to use the arc thrower. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. I remember that from the original game. Instruct the alien containment facility, research the arc thrower, build an arc thrower, capture live alien, and interrogate the captive alien. So, yeah. Bunch of different steps here. I need somewhere to put the alien, I need... To research the arc thrower, actually build it, actually capture one, and then actually interrogate it. And now it's available for construction. Mm-hmm. Arc thrower is the priority. Is it really? Okay. If you say so. Using the arc thrower is not fun. It's so stressful. Because it often... It pretty much always involves putting someone in extreme danger to get close enough to use it. Alright, how much does this facility cost? 85 and 5 power. It's not bad. Hmm. Need to start excavating. I'm gonna wait a bit. Or should I? Should I start building it now? The thing is, because I want the adjacency bonus, I kinda wanna save these four squares for power generators. And these four squares for satellite uplinks. So, if I'm saving those squares, then... I need to start excavating outwards. So I can get to here. Alright. Power thrower complete. Alright, now I can make it, but I still don't have a place to contain them. Beam weapons. Oh. Uh, I should probably do these meld things, though, because I'm guessing these will allow me to actually do something with all of the meld I've been collecting. So let's do this. Meld recombination. Let's see what that does. Ooh, council report. So that's the end of the month thing where you hear how you're doing and you get all of your monies and all of your stuff. So I'm gonna get a big boost here. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Why, thank you, I get an A. I'm quite proud of myself, although it looks like almost all of Europe is panicking. And quite a bit of South America. And Mexico. Yep. So, I just got 591 monies, one scientist, and two engineers. Remember, we will be watching. Right, so now I have a ton of money. So I should probably build stuff. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Seven. From Still? From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. 
Alright, now I have this workshop that I can build, which will give me engineers and uh, percentage refund and resources used when building vehicles, foundry projects, and facilities. So, there's a bunch of stuff I should make. Yeah, was there a bonus to the steam? There's gotta be a reason for it, but I don't remember. I thought there was something with that steam. Hmm. Anyway, let's just keep excavating out. Again, I want to save these for the adjacency bonuses. So I want to build my extra stuff out here. Let's make an access lift as well. Sure, why not? A lot of construction. Still don't have a sergeant yet. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I think everything's good. Everything I could possibly buy and need, I have. Yep, should keep waiting. Alright, that'll make my research faster. Excellent. Still need to excavate. Really curious what this meld recombination does. And I guess we're finding out right so, now. What is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Okay, so I've just unlocked the stuff I need to actually start using, uh, to start getting to, I guess, most of what this expansion adds. Probably the, the biggest changes, the biggest additions. I'm excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Cybernetics Lab, available. Genetics Lab, available. Mech 1 Warden, available for manufacture. Gene Lab, Gene Lab, Gene Lab. 40 additional meld reconstituted. Holy crap. Cybernex Lab. Light to build mechanized exoskeleton cyber suits and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency b benefits. Genetics Lab. This annex to the research lab will allow us to genetically modify our soldiers. This facility counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. Okay. Gene mods. Adaptive bone marrow. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%. Hmm. Soldiers regenerate two hit points per turn. Up to the HP max without armor. Holy shit! Two hit points per turn! That's amazing! Depth Perception, height advantage, confers an additional 5% aim and 5% critical chance. 
Good for a sniper. Hyperreactive pupils. Confers plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss. Hmm. Okay. New mechs available. Kinetic strike module. Arm upgrade for the mech. Pulverize adjacent cover and enemies also boosts mobility or flamethrower. Delay w allows it to lay waste to a cone-shaped area. Flame can spill outside the aiming area. Holy crap. Alright, I have no idea what this is. Experimental warfare. But it only takes five days, so let's do it. 100 meld. Alright, we need to build a lot of facilities. Like, there's a lot of stuff to build. But, again, I really don't want to take over these spots. Wait, do I have ten engineers? No, seven. I still have seven. Damn it. Maybe, maybe I'm hoarding my spots too much. I just really like the idea of these all be crammed together. The power generators and the satellite uplinks. It seems worth it in the long run. It really does. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to hold off. I do want to leave these open. It won't be long before I can access them. It'll be fine. Commander, the council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. Is this a mission? It is. Unusual reports about a hijacked attempt at an unauthorized French military convoy. Although the alleged perpetrators were human, our intel indicates the aliens may also have been in the area. If true, this raises a number of questions about the cargo being moved. We'll need a squad to investigate. Central should have our complete report momentarily. One scientist, one engineer, and 150 magic money. Sure, let's do it. We're confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. All right, so who was it? it was let's switch out. I don't want to switch out everyone, because I do want a nice mix of classes. So... Yeah, let's just switch out Dresden and Smith again. With... The Maria. Izelli. And who's the other one? Smith with Arrow. There we go. Yeah, this way I still have all of the four classes, which is good. Make items available. Load out. Give me the scope. Good to go. You should have what? I think the armor is probably the right one, right? Yeah. Your assaults, you should so you should have the armor, and we're good to go. is sending an urgent mission request. Operation Lone Line. Doesn't sound good. Alright, let's go. We're gonna kick some ass. Let's blow up some aliens. There's been widespread speculation about this ambush on a French military convoy, but we don't have much to go on. Our primary concern is the Council Intel report indicating alien activity in the area. We need to secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. Objective updated. Locate any survivors. Okay. I'd like to get Izelli on the roof. Looks like there's some nice height advantage here and some windows that I could possibly shoot through from above. I'm not sure if you can, but maybe. But I don't want to move her up first. Let's move That's you here. Oh, that's a dash. I didn't think that was a dash. Whoops. Oh, well, it's fine. Move you last. Here 
Alright, let's get you on the roof. Where should I put you? Depends, am I going to need to shoot stuff inside or outside? Probably outside. Because if there were enemies inside of this building, I probably would have already seen them. So... Yeah, just overwatch. We're good. I'm hoping the aliens aren't going to, like, kill the survivors if I don't get to them fast enough. That would suck. Let's get a look in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing at all. Let's just... Let's just dash over here. I'm assuming I can open this bay here. I'm hoping. Yeah, bust down that door, you badass. Tyrone M. Kicking ass since 1990 something? I don't know. Where should I put you? I can't make her get over there yet. I guess move to here. She can go in the alley, I guess. Oh, some pigeons! Let's scare them away. There we go. You think you're fancy doing those flips everywhere, hmm? Not gonna feel so fancy when I shoot you in the face with my sniper with a massive height advantage. Oh, shit. What the hell? You acrobatic motherfucker. I'm gonna blast your face off. Well. Ah, but there's a ladder. Let's do that, shall we? Then again, hold on. What shots do my sniper have? 67. Let's do this first. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's get into half cover here. It was an overwatch. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <gasps> Graves don't die. Oh, my God, Graves. Graves is in grave danger. Graves, no pressure, but um, you really need to make this shot, okay? Okay. Whew. Oh wow, I almost forgot. There's a cloud of poison. Actually, no, he's immune to poison, so it wouldn't have even mattered because he's carrying a med kit. But still, gotta keep that in mind. Hmm. He's only in half cover. He's still in big danger. Where was the other one? It was somewhere around here, right? I really don't like that I can't see it. Wasn't it here? I think it was around here. I need to get eyes on it because I want to I want to run and gun. So, let's try that. See if I can see it. Shit. Let's open that up. Where the hell are you? I need eyes on it.
I hope that's not in the cloud, is it? No, it's just outside of the poison cloud. Hunker down. I can't blindly run and gun, just hoping that I'll hit the right spot. But I really need to kill it just in case it... It could jump up here and kill him so easily. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Let's hope I remembered where it was correctly. Graves is in just in too much danger. Okay, it's there. It's... Mm. It's kind of far away. 70% chance. Alright, please, please hit. Please hit. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, thank you, Arrow. Good job. You probably just saved Graves' life. Okay. You need to heal yourself. Absolutely. Maybe I should move you somewhere first, though. Yeah. I'm gonna move you down here. So you're in full cover. Instead of crappy half cover. Even with the uh, height advantage, I'm pretty sure being in half cover up there is probably worse than being in full cover down here. Not, not smoke grenade. It's funny. I guess it's ironic that my support character is the one that needs the support. Pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to work. But, oh well. It happens. I'm not sure taking cover behind a broken out, burning husk of a car is such a great idea, but... Well, I guess it's already... it looks like it's already blown up, so it's probably not gonna blow up again. Have Izele Overwatch? Literally Overwatch, because she, she's over everything else. And you as well. How much map is left? Quite a bit. We're only like maybe halfway through the map. Alright, let's see if we can bring him out. Let's see if we can bait him out. I'd really like to get him here so that Izele can take a shot at him. Here we go. Good. What is this building? Really interesting art in here. Is this an art gallery? Pretty posters everywhere. Hmm. Not sure if I should focus on this enemy that's over here or just move up to here and check what's inside. This is what I mean about this game being filled with just a constant string of interesting decisions. There's just so many different things you could do. Every single turn. Alright, I'm just gonna leave her there. She's in a good spot. Hi, Zelly. a pretty good spot to be in. Yeah, move up here. It's in full cover. Kind of want to keep him towards the back because he's taking so much damage. I'll move him up a little bit, but into full cover. And I'm going to have him hunker down. 
and Overwatch. Your move, Thin Man. don't look like they've been hit by alien weapons fire. These men were killed by conventional bullets. Hmm. I'm guessing that's a hint about the Exalt. The new sort of terrorist faction. I can't believe we got hit through full cover from that distance. I mean, it's not nearly, not even close to impossible, it's just... Just... Damn it. I guess full cover doesn't give you that much of an advantage. Does it actually tell you how much cover, like what your chance of being hit is? Does it tell you somewhere? Um, not sure where it would say. Soldier, no, not soldier info. Duh, I don't know. Anyway, do you have a shot, eyes, Ellie? No, you don't. Ugh. I believe there's a an ability later on that snipers get called squad sight, which is basically required for a sniper to be good. It allows you to see any enemies or allows you to shoot at any enemies that your teammates can see, so long as you have line of sight, or something like that. So even if you're, like, across the map, like here, like here she clearly has a line of sight to the enemy, but she's simply too far away to see it within her own um, cone of vision, her own radius. But with squad sight, if your squad can see it, which obviously they can, then you can shoot at it. So it's basically required for a sniper, it really is. As soon as that shows up, that is definitely what I'm taking. So right now, she's she's just too far away to be of any use right now, which blows. Because what is a sniper for if not shooting from afar? 48%. Eh, it's not great. I could run and gun and blow its face off. It's tempting. I suppose it depends on whether these hits actually hit. 53. Wow, you have a 53% chance to hit. Okay. Well, you're support, so you're actually going to increase everyone else's chances, so go for it. Wait, you're not- wait. Are you not the one? Oh, you're not the- no, you're a different support? I guess? Covering fire. What does that do? Allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Alright, so this isn't the one with hollow targeting. I'm already, I barely have any soldiers and I'm already mixing them up. Oh, boy. This is gonna go well. Oh! It's you who has it. Hold on, wait, what are you? Aren't you support? But what what are you? It's my heavy that has hollow targeting, not my support. Oh! I got it mixed up. Okay, well, I did that the wrong way. Right. Well, this was going to be my last dish effort in case those two people missed, and they did, so here we go. Any full cover near here where I can run and gun? No. Here we go. Badass arrow gonna blow up some aliens. 100% chance. Kaboom! Is she poisoned? No, she's just far enough away. I forgot about that. The cloud of poison again, but thankfully she's fine. Let's preemptively move Izeli up. Yeah, I mean, honestly, without squad sight, it seems like snipers are... Pretty, like, almost useless. Between the fact that they can't shoot at enemies from afar, which is what a sniper's about, which is what being a sniper's all about, when you throw in the fact that they can't shoot at the same turn, in the same turn that they move, it, it just, it makes them really hard to use early on. But they're so powerful later on when you upgrade them. 
I think at the end of my last run. The end of my main run that I did of XCOM Enemy Unknown. I think I had two, snip two snipers on my team that I would have just like across the, across the map. Just on some hill or whatever. And because they had squat sight, they could shoot at people from extremely far away. And they, they were just beasts. They were amazing. Oh, that's the NPC. Okay, so I need to get inside of this radius to rescue them. I'm not sure if they're a threat under threat of being killed at this point. Or what. Because I don't want to rush. Let's just move up cautiously. Mm-hmm. New objective received. Let's just overwatch, just in case anyone... Uh, just in case an alien, like, pops out and tries to kill their survivor. I don't want to fail the mission. Get a slightly different angle on the situation here from Graves. Wow, we've actually taken a lot of damage, haven't we? Yeah, gonna have two people out from this mission. Wounded. Right here. Oh boy. Please don't kill my sniper. Ah, reaction shot. I'm glad I did that and she missed anyway, but still, it was cool. Oh no, oh no, oh fuck. Oh boy. See, and this is on normal difficulty. I'm not even playing on classic. I'm glad I'm not playing on classic. I really am. It's, it's still challenging, even on normal. Right, well, I can probably kill it with her. Yeah, that's a really good... Actually, hold on. I could do hollow targeting. Who has that? It's you. Right? Yeah. Wow, and your base chance of hitting him is actually quite high. Let's do... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Nice shot. Corporal M has earned a promotion. Alright, let's go rescue you. You poor, poor civilian, you. Sure about that. Only witness to survive this fight, and for all we know, he was one of the aggressors. We need to bring him in, whether he likes it or not. We have a new objective. And let me guess, thin men are going to rain down on my way back. That's my guess. All right, so I'm actually in control of the survivor, so I need to actually personally make sure he gets back. And the only thing he can do is basically hunker down, increase his defense. So I need to get you into full cover. Here we go. That's pretty good. Just protect yourself. Start moving back. Yeah. Man, she's really taking a lot of damage. I probably should have moved her into full cover up here. Hmm. Commander, we're picking up new contacts moving into the AO. Of course. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> 
It's an overwatch. If she moves, she's dead. If Izelli moves, she is dead. Straight up, she's dead. 59% chance. 87% chance. If she doesn't move, she's also dead. Because she's being flanked. Fuck. This is not good. Can I run and gun anywhere useful? No. Not really. I could go here and have a decent shot at that, maybe. It has high ground, but it's also not in cover. Alright. Crap. Okay, taking out this thin man is not the issue. I can shoot at that from many different ways. The issue is taking out this one. Who can even do any damage to it? She can. You can't... You, you are, well, could you dash? No, you can't dash up there, can you? Why can't you dash up there? Hold on. Is, are you blocking the way? I think you're blocking the way. Okay, you need to move. I think this will allow me to run and gun up there. There we go. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. First thing to do is see if she can kill it. Is that the best way to do this? See if she can kill it if she can't run and gun. But then that leaves two people to deal with that one. Which... Do I have an advantageous position from which to attack? Let's just open that up. I could maybe even take a shot at it from here. And that's full cover. Maybe taking this one out is not the issue. It's not. No, okay, so I can run and gun to kill this one and also use this character to get here into full cover and get a nice shot. And you... can move out here to take shot. Okay, here's, what, here's what's gonna happen. You are gonna shoot that one. Might as well make it a headshot. Well, nah. Eh, yeah, why not? Increased chance of damage. And then, I don't want to burn run and gun unless I need to. Although it is an overwatch. Is it gonna... I don't think this would trigger overwatch. Or would it? No, okay. And then if this doesn't work, I can use run and gun. It's time to run and gun. Happy. And she only has one shot left in her shotgun. Oh boy. I guess I'll just go right up behind it. I mean, she's gonna kill it no matter what, so what does it matter? It's gonna be a 100% chance to hit. And there's no way it's gonna do less than 3 damage. Yeah, yeah, Overwatch. She's fine. Just a flesh wound. Just a laser to the face, a plasma to the face. Yeah, it's dead. Operation Save Izelli is a success. She would have been so dead. A sniper with two hit points being flanked and in half cover. Oh boy. Alright, who's left? Just... Just M. Let's just move you up. Somewhere, where? Let's move you here. Alright, I'd really like to heal Izelli. 
just in case. So... Let's do that. How do I do that? Let's do this. It's gonna play this nice and slow. There's no meld canisters, there's no reason to panic. Move Graves down there and heal Arrow. Izelli, sorry, Izelli, not Arrow. Getting them mixed up again. Oh. Huh. I already used his med kit. Good job. Excellent planning there. Pat myself on the back for that one. And she needs to reload. Don't, don't go through the... <gasps> yes, walk through the fucking cloud of poison. Good job, Arrow. Reload your weapon. Ah. <sighs> You're nothing but a bunch of puppets. Yep, I think that's an a convoy raid survivor. Sounds like a member of the Exalt. Alright, you should reload too. And actually you as well. There she is getting poisoned. Who has the medkit left? You do. M has the medkit. Alright. Just just move down here. I guess I'll use the ed kit, the med kit on Arrow instead of Izelli. Hmm, she is poisoned, but Izelli has less health. Yet another interesting decision. I don't know. I'm just... Okay, I'm just gonna keep Izelli out of battle. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep her safe. I'm gonna treat her just... Like the person I'm trying to rescue. Just keep her out of the fight. So let's just heal you. Let's move everyone else up first. Get her into full cover. And hunker down. Heads up out there. We've got hostiles on the move. Oh, yay. Alright, Thin Man and a Sectoid, and they're both on Overwatch. I would love to blow them up, but unfortunately they're not together. Oh, I actually can shoot up there. Hold on, can I actually kill it? Hold on. I saw it pop up for a second. Where is it? I saw it. I saw it. I know it's here. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I don't think it includes a thin man. No. Hmm. 
This is so silly. I'm just trying to find the find the perfect spot. No, it doesn't include the Thin Man. I could kill the Sectoid, wherever the hell it is up here. It's kind of pointless, though. Well, maybe not pointless. Ah, shit. You actually have a shot at that? Holy hell. I'm not trying to prove anything, I'm just trying to save your life, you ungrateful asshole. Alright, let's get you into the fight. Unless I want to use this rocket, do I? Let me first see if this hits. Well, it did, but it's not dead, so its combat effectiveness is the same as if I hadn't shot it. So it doesn't really help the situation very much at all. You can just hunger down. I kind of want to have Izelli just run really far away. What if they jump down? But they're on Overwatch. No, if she moves... That sectoid might see her. I'm, I'm not exactly sure where it is, but it's somewhere up here. Alright, you should just hunker down again. And have you move up. And overwatch to protect Izelli. I guess Overwatch as well. You only have three hit points, though. Yeah, you're gonna hunker down. You only have three hit points. Your move, aliens. There you are. Oh, that is a perfect place to have a reaction shot. Beautiful. I'm so glad I did that there. Ooh, 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 you're getting close to Izelli. You're getting really close to Izelli. Oh, okay. Ooh. His cover's blown up, though, but it's okay. We, we've got this. This is easy now. Okay, it didn't overwatch, right? No. So I'm safe to just go in? Just to be safe, let's use someone who has a lot of health. This should be the last enemy, so I'm just going to run and gun you. Time to kick some ass, Arrow. Kick, kick even more ass. Boom! Arrow has earned a promotion. Well deserved. Yeah, it's probably the last group of enemies, I think. Most likely is. I guess the only thing I have to look out for now is probably just to make sure my escort, uh, the person I'm escorting, doesn't accidentally walk through the cloud of poison. It could happen. It does happen. Move her up here, have her hunker down. Alright, we got this. We're good. Don't walk through the cloud of poison, please. Don't walk through the poison. Okay, good. Oh. You really need to not walk through the poison as well. All right, she'll avoid the poison. Yes. Yeah, 
Okay, we got this. Strike one. We've got hostile contacts moving on your position. Maybe we don't. Actually, I th Oh, reaction shot. I guess he missed. I couldn't even tell. Oh, he did miss. Okay. I think we only need to get... It says escort the survivor to the evac zone. I don't think we actually need to kill the enemies. I think we just need to get him to, to there. And I could do that. But he would probably take a reaction shot against him. Which would be horrible. So I need to kill him. Who has a shot? You do. Alright, two people have a shot. 58. And 48. Hmm. You have hollow targeting, plus the badge of badassery. Which is pretty badass. Can I run and gun? <sighs> I can't run and gun, because unfortunately I already used it. Shit. Actually, she doesn't even need a run and gun to get a shot. Alright, let's take the two shots. Him first. Because the hollow targeting will increase the chance of everybody else to hit. Which we're going to need. I could move him, but then, then he's going to take a reaction shot. So, no. Ah. Here's the last thing we can do. It's basically guaranteed to work, but she's probably going to take some damage. Here we go. When you love us. Reaction fire from two feet away. Ow. I can feel the pain coming. There. It, oh, it's only two damage. That's not too bad. Arrow is really good at taking shots to the face. She, she has taken many, many plasma things to the face and has managed to pull through. 100% chance to hit. We're good. It's dead. And she's re-poisoned. Great. Okay, well, let's see if we can just end this just by having him get here. Okay, we're good. You're still not getting anything from me. Excellent work, Commander. Our friend here might be uncooperative at the moment, but I have a feeling a talk with Dr. Valen will change his tune. Do you? Alright, that was a hairy mission. Took a lot of damage. How many people are going to be wounded? Oh, two wounded and one gravely wounded, but there's a lot of promotions, including a bunch to sergeant, which means now I can use the, what's it called, the officer training school or whatever it is.